Going another texture to kind of like. What's your bass idea? So just like, just send it through something. Record with a filter on or something, you mean? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> My friends in the aluminum group say, this is, we're going shopping. We're going window yeah. shopping right now. We're putting everything in the basket. We're not checking out just yet. You know, we're just, let's collect as much cool stuff as we can while we have this really awesome rig. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that'll probably be good to, to get started. I'm not trained in a musical sense. I studied film and, and got a degree in animation. That was really informative in the way that I, I feel like I've learned how to approach music, approaching it in a visual sense. The song has a bunch of structures already kind of like in place and then there's this whole other like world beyond this like little mountain that we've kind of created. We both had this sort of like, you know, similar but not exact but complementary and technical knowledge. And when I was listening to the Alado Negro records, I was like, man, I would love to to get into whatever some of this is. <laughs> but why is do that do that again. Where are those all out of tune? You gotta figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the song is Mitad del Mundo, which means middle of the world. I feel like a lot of the songs that I have, it's almost like patch cables. It's like I'll patch into like one end of memory and then just kinda keep building these like non-chronological experiences together to make up these lyrics. This is what it sounds like when I sleep. <laughs> you know, we would just kind of like sort of wander around the studio and start creating the synth mountain that we have yet to climb. So I wanted the music to be good. I wanted to be, I want to learn something and I, I want it to be a good hang. So, Roberto, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's like a, sometimes like a, a feeling that you're not a musician in a traditional sense and so you can't come into this place because you don't necessarily have the tools or techniques to contribute to what is needed. I, I remember I used to be kind of embarrassed about that, like not having this kind of like musical vocabulary in terms of like communicating. Uh, Roberto's gonna sing into the R2600 synthesizer. Oh boy. And then at the same time, uh, the, the amplitude of his voice is affecting filter frequency. You know, I soon realized that I was like, shit, I don't need to have that to make music. You know, that, 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 that's not a limitation. That's, that's maybe just it's another way to understand what I'm doing. You ready, Roberto? <laughs> you have to like really just embrace all this shit. You just be like, whoa, feel it out. <laughs> Yeah. It sounds so like, what is happening? It does. It it's opens really, it up. That's really cool. You know, for 
me it happens where you get kind of snowed or, or, or frustrated or you're like, I hear this part, but I can't play it. And then that stupid brain gets in the way. I was like, you know you, what you're doing is no good. What do you think? A little room for the brain to think? Maybe. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely sort of lost in the forest at the moment. What were you doing that doo 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 doo? I was just octaves and fizz, like. You want to try and see what it sounds yeah. like? Yeah. <laughs> I can see that look in your eye. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've been really fortunate to just to work with, with people who are just really thoughtful and compassionate. And a lot of it is like Roberto's adventurous nature, like his just, like sort of un, unafraid to try something that, you know, to me at first listen or something, I'd be like, oh man, I don't know about that. It's messed up, but that's kind of nice. That little like, that thing you did right here. Yeah. Do it. I just hear it as a mistake, but it's good that you saved it. It's always interesting to watch someone else's process and some of the way that other people do it and, and kind of get over that like, oh man, am I, am I doing this wrong? Am I, do I, am I doing this right? And then you're like, oh wait, no, I'm just doing it my way. And it's cool, and they're doing it their way, and that's cool. Hey, Roberto. Man, I'm just gonna play this chord, and you just record it, like, so we'll place it. Go ahead, whenever you want. Doing things like this, that are diverse like this, you know, show people, you know, kids that are like, making beats in their house with computers or samplers, and you're encouraging people to be like, make music, make it good, and you can see these people doing it and get this encouragement from you guys and, and support their own thoughts and like continue doing stuff like what they're doing. I can't think of anything that's kind of more fun and gratifying than to have all the stuff set up, have everybody here working together, like let's try to make something cool that didn't exist two days ago.